Hi, good morning. Welcome to Be With Love. So and then I wanted to talk about the full moon because the full moon is actually tomorrow. It's the strawberry full moon. The Sagittarius full moon will remind you of what you've been taking for granted. So what I did was I looked for the spiritual meaning. So I also have like the the science. I have the science. Like I have the Newsweek article. I have the Farmer's Almanac article. But I wanted to go into the spirituality of the full moon. What does this full moon mean for you tomorrow? So the final full moon in of the spring because summer's coming. It's going to be so hot. Okay. <laughs> the final full moon of the spring is upon us and is bringing some major things to your attention. Since a full moon is essentially a time where a luna is receiving the most light. Luna is the moon. In Spanish, we say luna. Luna is the moon. It's often a period of revelations. It's like things just come to light. Everything is illuminated. All the things that have been kept hidden from you, they, they come to light. Like everything has come to light. Revelate, revelations, things just come to you and you know, know stuff culminations it's like the endings of things and endings like it's putting the end to the things that no longer serve you if it does not serve you get, get that shit out of here excuse my language right but it's like you know you're holding on to things it's just holding you back it's stopping you it's stagnating you it's a burden it's like it's not making you happy get rid of it so you can move forward and have a happy life summer's coming you gonna be happy this summer so, you know, back to the article. We'll be collecting her light culminations, endings, but in the best way possible. So it's endings in the best way possible. You don't want to put things in a bad note or whatever. Curious, lighthearted Gemini sun, because we are in Gemini. All the Gemini's birthdays is during this time. And transmuting through the lens of the mutable fire sign of Sagittarius. Transmuting, that means you're changing the energy. Transmute. So that's the same thing as transmuting negative energy to positive energy. So that's what transmuting means. So we're in Gemini, but then we're going to be in Sagittarius. We're transmuting the energy from Gemini to Sag. As the knowledge oriented, it's like you have to know... You have to know the signs. You have to know the zodiac signs. Sign of the zodiac. This is a sign that that's all about reflecting on what you know, which is a pretty stark difference from the Mercury retrograde tinged Gemini season we're freshly coming out of. Like, retrograde was crazy. <laughs> but the full moon is not so crazy. It's just a time of cutting out. You got to cut out these things that no longer serve you. This is a season of confusion, miscommunication, and a time where collecting information was more was likely more of a challenge. But the good thing is the spiritual meaning of the 2022 Strawberry Moon is all about embracing what you know to be true, no matter who disagrees with you. So that's what it is. Things come to me. Things come to me and I know stuff. And it's like, once I know something is really nothing you can say to me that's gonna make me change my mind nothing you can say to me is gonna make me think i'm wrong like i'm not wrong i believe myself i believe my intuition i believe you know so men will always tell you that you're crazy or oh don't believe your intuition but your intuition will always be right and they don't want you to listen to your own intuition because they don't want you to be right. They don't want you to point out what the problem is. And the problem is them. <laughs> They're the fucking problem. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Back to the article. With Mercury, the planet of communication, finally re-entering Gemini the day before the full moon, our messenger planet can finally gather information in order for you to move forward with accurate details. So the messenger planet, messenger planet, that's communication. That's the full moon known as the super strawberry moon due to its apparent size, hence the super. Okay. And dating back to the time when Native Americans would harvest ripening strawberries, 
hence the strawberry. However, it's less about take, asking questions and more about reviewing the answers you already have within. So as you already know what is going on, but it, it takes you, you have to take time to reflect. You have to take time for yourself to put things in motion for yourself, you know? So it's like you know what's up, but and then it's on you to do what you gotta do. If you don't do what you gotta do, it's fine. <laughs> Keep it moving. But karma always hits, that's the thing. However, it's less about asking questions and more about reviewing the answers you already have within. Like you already know like what it is. It's like, what are you gonna do about it? Gemini energy tends to restlessly pursue more details without ever pausing to consider the knowledge you currently have and possibly are putting to use. But the full moon in Sagittarius is a reminder that you're far more equipped with wisdom than you realize. You've just been taking it for granted. But like, okay. So at 5.51 a.m. on June 14th, the moon will illuminate the Sagittarius ruled house in your birth chart, bringing a strong sense of awareness to this area. During Gemini season, you've been actively playing into a role of the student. Well, that's allowed you to collect a plethora of new information. You're full equipped with knowledge to make some adjustments in this area. When Jupiter Jupiter, this is astrology, like you have to know the planets, like Jupiter is a planet, Saturn is a planet, like all of these are planets. So and then these are talking about the placements of the planets and how it's going to affect you during this full moon. Because when the June, when is the June 2022 full moon in Sagittarius, because it's going to be in Sagittarius during this time. And all the planets are moving, they're changing, so it's going to affect you some kind of way, you just have to pay attention and be knowledgeable of your birth chart your birth chart will tell you where what planets rule that sign or what sign is on that planet so then if the planet is moving you need to check out what is your what's your sign for that planet okay I'm going to include the link in the description box. I like to use Astro Cafe because Astro Cafe is free. <laughs> it's free. You can print it out. You can check it out. You can write it. You can do whatever, you know, and it's free. You don't have to pay anything for it. So I will include the link for that in the description box as well. So with Jupiter, the ruler of this lunation, lunation is illumination. Like this, the moon, the moon is, is full currently moving through Aries. It's time to actively tap into your own personal truths, regardless of who agrees. While other people's opinion can provide you with plenty of information, you don't always have to seek outward because at the end of the day, you ultimately, ultimately know what's best for you. The Sagittarius ruled house in your birth chart is also where you harbor the most wisdom. So much so, that you can even teach others a thing or two about these topics. Now is the time to lean into the role as a teacher or guide. And during this full moon, you may find that others are far more interested in listening to your perspective. Be sure not to doubt yourself now. You are informed enough to speak your mind. So it's like you have all of the information. Like, you know what the hell is going on. You know what's up. So, and then it's like, you can tell people what is going on, what you think, what you feel, and you should not feel bad. You should not feel bad because this is how you feel. You know, you just have to let it out. During this lunation, the full moon period, you may also find that your desire for freedom is heightened. That's true making this a prettiest sp spontaneous period. This is the perfect opportunity to embark on a, any sudden adventures that come your way, especially if they involve travel or furthering your education. <gasps> yo, <clears throat> yo, <laughs> you know, I just signed up. I went back to college. I signed up for college and I start on July. So I enrolled in college. Everything went through, all the financial aid went through. And I'm gonna go back to school. So this really hit like, and travel, 
I'm thinking of traveling, going to school. It's online, so I don't have to go, you know, I don't have to do too much. Have faith and trust that even if you don't have all the details ironed out, that your inner compass will guide you in the right direction. Wow. Okay. Wow. This one, okay, I can relate to this because I, you know, I wanted to further my education. I'm spontaneous. I want to do stuff. I want to travel. I want to... You know, I just want to feel good. I want to feel good about myself. So June strawberry moon will be full of playful energy. Here's how to embrace it. As the summer solstice approaches of the northern hemisphere, so too do some exciting happenings in the sky. If you want to keep up with astrology, because this is astrology, this is about the planets, the moon, the, the sun, the stars, all that. You're you're likely already got the upcoming full strawberry, strawberry moon marked on the calendar for June 14th, reaching its peak at 7.52 a.m. So it's going to be up. It's going to be up and showing at 5.50-something a.m. And then it's going to be at its peak at 7.52 a.m. in the morning. Miss Luna is going to be looking big, beautiful, and bright. However, it may come as a disappointment that it won't actually be pink or red color, as the name may call it, call to mind, because we think a strawberry moon, so you think it's going to be pink, but it's not going to be pink, because it's early in the morning, so it's, it's going to be pale. What is a strawberry moon anyway? More on that later. But as the second super moon of 2022, the views will be spectacular. Energetically speaking, there's always a lot going on with the full moon. Whether they're of strawberry variety or not, the full moon is the peak of the moon's phase. Astrologer of Elevation 44 tells the light daily the moon's energy builds up from the new moon phase to its apex at the full moon. So this is the science, I know, <laughs> but this is the science of it. It's peak energy that you can use, Francis knows. This is also when the sun and the moon are in direct opposition of each other, which is why the moon is so visible and bright. It's the sun's light reflecting off the moon's illumination, both physically and spiritually, is what defines this lunar phase, making it an optical time for personal reflection. So this is a time that you just look within yourself to see what is it that you want to do, what you want to change, how you want to move, what do you want to do with your life. Like This is a time to reflect on yourself. The full moon... This is the sun and the moon coming together. So when they come together, that's why we get the full moon and it's illuminated because it's illuminated because the sun is is illuminating it. Like it's, it's I think the moon is behind the sun. So since the moon is behind the sun, it lights up. The science, right? <laughs> I'm going to charge my black salt that I made last week. So I'm going to use this moon to charge it. But it's supposed to be charged under the dark moon. So I'll talk about the dark moon when, when we get to that. We're in the full moon. Strawberry full moon in June. So, oops. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's free. previously noted that this is not just any full moon. It's a strawberry it's a super strawberry moon that comes with its own significations. Here's everything you need to know about June's full moon. From what the heck is strawberry moon Moon is to the sign it's in the planetary transits happening to work with its energy. Because during a full moon, we always work with the energy. We always charge our crystals. We're always doing stuff. Everybody's doing work on strawberry full moon. They'll act like nobody does work. Like the full moon is nothing. The moon is like, oh, why are you paying attention to the moon? It's because it has so much energy, so much power. And you can use it to manifest. You can use it for your crystals. You can use it for cleanse. You can use it for everything. All the things that you have been manifesting into your life, they're going to come. 
this is the time when it comes. Everything's going to come during the full moon season. Everything is going to be illuminated. All the things that have been kept from you, it's going to come. Everything good is going to come to you. So it's a, it's a great time. I'm going to go back to this article. Back in the days of hunting and gathering, people had to keep a keen eye on the seasons and the moon cycles for things like growing and harvesting food. The full moon used names used in the old farmer's almanac. Like the strawberry moon came from a mix of sources included Native American, Colonial American, and European origins. The definition of a strawberry moon is that the last full moon of the spring and the first full moon as we enter summer. Summer is coming! As we get closer to the summer solstice, astrologer Indigo Wit tells Elite Daily it actually originates from indigenous tribes. She adds, lots of different tribes like Algonquin and Lakota among others those are native american tribes those are here in the u.s for indi indigenous groups the moon names actually appointed to a whole month of agricultural happenings the strawberry moon occurs during peak of berry season which is where the label comes from other terms from the june full moon include the berries ripened moon hadia blooming moon damn Anishinaabe, Anishinaabe, Green Corn Moon, that's Cherokee, and Hoer Moon, Western Abenaki. Western Abenaki. I heard that word before, but I'm, I'm, I don't know where. Abenaki. All of which are in, indicative of the season according to the old Farmer's Almanac. So I'm going to probably include the Farmer's Almanac here. Also, there's a few articles I'm going to include, but this article I'm going into is the spirituality of the, the full moon. So the article I used is a light daily. What is a strawberry full moon? As the inaugurator of summer, the strawberry moon is what you call might call a big deal in the spiritual world. It is really important moon because it marks a shift notes with it represents new changes new beginnings and refreshingly lively new energy that we we get to step into so it's like everything new is coming everything new is coming all the changes all of this like say negative energy all this bad stuff that has been going on you have to reflect on yourself think about what are you going to do how are you going to move what are you going to release are you going to let things go? Are you going to keep it with you? Like, what are you going to do? Like, this is an exciting time to start over. Start over represents new changes, new beginnings. And this is refreshing, lively, new energy that we get to step into. So, this is good. What sign will be June? What sign will the June full moon be in? The June full moon will be in... The sign of Sagittarius or Capricorn. All of these are the exact opposing signs to Gemini and Cancer. I, I'm going to include the Astro Cafe. I know I said that already. I repeat myself sometimes. It's because, I don't know, I just repeat myself sometimes. <laughs> Sorry about it. The signs the sun will be during this time. The opposing signs to Gemini and Cancer. The signs the sun will be in during this time this year everyone can look forward to the strawberry moon's energy because it will be in the playful and fun sign of sagittarius according to wit we're going to be feeling enthusiastic she tells a light daily it's the energy we definitely need because the taurus and scorpio eclipses were not a cute moment that was mercury retrograde because it was in taurus and scorpio and i was i was going crazy it was it was a lot it was a lot for me um what happened i scrolled down what happened yeah eclipse was not a cute moment we need something to lighten the mood she offers and just what this outgoing sagittarius full moon and here's to do plus since it's a super moon everyone will be be feeling a little bit extra so you'll be feeling a little bit extra 
I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain that. Sagittarius loves exploration, discovery, introspection, and pushing you out of your comfort zone. So you can expect the full moon to bring about exciting vibes of reinvention and self and inner philosophy, emotional revival, returning to passions and adventure because it will be occurring in a mutable sign. It's marking a really major shift and an ending period at the same time. It's like I'm excited. I'm excited <clears throat> to for everything to just come forward, like to things to move forward. I'm excited to end things. I'm glad I'm ending things and I can move forward and think and I'm just excited to someone's here. Exploration, discovery, introspection. It's like you think how you're gonna handle this. This full moon is a catalyst towards taking that risk and putting yourself out there and really making those changes. Specifically, if you have any of the mutable signs in your birth chart, Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces, or Virgo, there will be a lot going on for you according to Wit. Wit is an astrologer. On the other hand, this will also be a big moon for fixed sign placement. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. Heavy emphasis on the Taurus and Scorpio. Ugh. I'm a Scorpio, that's why. <laughs> Eclipse season was not easy on these placements. No, it was not. I was freaking out. Ugh. So now that they're out on the other side of the chaos, it's time to apply these lessons. We might be finally saying and doing the things that we learned during the eclipse. Okay. The full moon in Sagittarius also wants you to take steps towards your dreams and see the bigger picture, but in a playful way. We're feeling like we want to lean into the play of life and not take things super seriously. Adding that at the end of the day, the, the energy is positive thanks to the happy planet Jupiter ruling over Sagittarius. So this is a pretty long article, but I'm going to get through it. So June, June full moon aspects, what's that? For even more de detail on what's going down under this energy, astrologers like to peek at the aspects happening during celestial events like a full moon. Aspects describe the positions of planets and how they're communicating with each other, which adds yet another layer of energy courtesy of the cosmos. So, and then it starts talking about the moon and Neptune, the moon and Jupiter, the moon. Okay, so then this part, I'm not going to go through it. I, I'm going to include your birth chart. So, you can print your birth chart or you can just look at it. Just check it out. So, you can find out what planets are in your birth chart. Like, well, we all have the same planet. We have the sun, the moon, the Mars, Saturn, Jupiter. You want to know your Lilith. You want to know your Venus. You want to know all this stuff. So, and then it goes into it. Because this, oh, I'm going to just read like the, the bold letters. It says, oof. what did I do? It says moon square in Neptune. Jupiter conjunct Mars and Aries. Moon trine Mars and Chiron. Sagittarius full moon rituals with celestial I'll read this one but and then it says using fire create a bucket list and get mindful so it just has a lot of information this article is called elite elite daily it's a pretty good article I'm glad that I, I clicked on it and went through it because I was looking for the spiritual aspects of the full moon so this gave me what i was looking for it was giving <laughs> okay so i will include the links in the description box and then i have two other videos to go they're not going to be as long because that's going to be the newsweek article and the farmer's almanac article so thanks for watching thanks for clicking on the video and it's a good time summer's coming Stay positive. Always lead with love. Stay positive and vibe.
Hi. Bye.